Welcome to Academic Research. In today's video, I will discuss some possible questions and answers for OJ 2008. So, the first question is want to be a 230 volt 50 hertz single phase transformer as an eddy current loss of 30 watts. The eddy current loss when transformer is excited by a DC source of same voltage will be 30 watt more than 30 watt less than 30 watt and 0 watt. So correct answer is 0 watt because when a DC source of same voltage will be supplied, the transformer cannot operate in DC source because already we know that the transformer winding is a purely inductive that is ideally we can say that it is a pure inductive circuit therefore as we are supplying DC that is there is no change in uh, uh, current, therefore, the voltage or back EMF developed that is L di by dt as here i is constant, therefore, the derivative of a constant is equal to 0, so no back EMF will be developed, therefore, enormous heat will be developed and finally the transformer winding may be burned out therefore there will be no eddy current loss takes place so correct answer is 0 watt so next question in a 4 fold 25 kilowatt 200 volt waveform DC generator current in each parallel path will be is the possible answer. Therefore, we have to calculate the current for each parallel path. So, here given 25 kilowatt and 200 volt. Therefore, uh, 25 into 10 to the power 3 uh, divided by 200 volt, which gives 125 ampere for two parallel paths because it is wave finding for each parallel path divided by two that is the correct answer is a 62.5 ampere so next question conductor is constant and field is varying then emf will be induced this principle is called virtual induced emf static induced emf dynamic induced emf none of the ego so correct answer is static induced EMF because when conductor is constant and magnetic field is changing or rotating therefore the EMF induced is called statically induced EMF or static induced EMF. Answer C is correct. Then next question, commutators in DC machines have role of which converts. AC to DC, high voltage, DC to low voltage, DC, both AC to DC and DC to AC. Answer B is correct because in case of generator, it converts AC to DC and in case of motor, it converts DC to AC. So answer B is correct. Next question, which of the following condition is not true? in series RLC circuit at resonance. So XL by XC in series resonance uh, uh, the condition is XL is equal to XC that is inductive reactance is equal to capacitive reactance therefore the circuit behaves as a purely resistive circuit therefore power factor is 1 is correct and this is also correct but this is in 
डॉट करेक्ट गेट इज इक्वल टू गेट एक्सेल दिस इज नॉट करेक्ट अदर आंसर इज नॉट शो हियर देयरफॉर दिस इज नॉट करेक्ट आंसर इज बी सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर हाई करंट एंड लो वोल्टेज रेटिंग व्हिच वाइंडिंग इज एम्प्लॉयड इन दिस मशीन आंसर इज लैप वाइंडिंग फॉर हाई करंट द लैप वाइंडिंग इज यूज्ड बिकॉज़ इन केस ऑफ लैप लैप वाइंडिंग द नंबर ऑफ पैरेलल पाथ इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ पोल्स दैट इज ए इज इक्वल टू पी एज द नंबर ऑफ पैरेलल पाथ इज मोर देयरफॉर द करंट इज डिवाइडेड in different parallel path therefore the couple loss is less so generally the lap winding is used for high current low voltage rating therefore answer is correct if resonance frequency is 10 kilohertz and quality factor is 50 then answer is a bandwidth is equal to 200 hertz because uh bandwidth is equal to f not by q that is a resonant frequency by quality factor which is equal to 200 hertz answer a is correct next question generally tapping in a transformer are provided in the high voltage side to control the voltage answer b is correct if we uh, provide tapping in high voltage side the better voltage regulation will be set therefore to control the voltage high voltage in high voltage side generally tapping are provided the next question when pmm instrument is connected to ac voltage the instrument the uh, instrument will indicate a zero because in case of ac voltage the two torques are developed so the net torque is equal to zero therefore the instrument will not rotate in any direction next question the most of the generator in former power plant runs at 3000 rpm this is the correct answer then so next question is which of the following power plant has the least operating cost generally hydroelectric power plant has the least operating cost then next question the material used for fuse wire should be of low resistivity high melting point so correct answer is low resistivity and low melting point next question the terminal potential difference uh, of a battery of emf 2 volt and internal resistance 0.1 ohm when supplying a current of 5 ampere will be 1.5 volt is the correct answer because the when it's supplying current 5 ampere 5 into 0.1 that is 0.5 uh, volt drop occurs therefore so terminal voltage is equal to 2 volt minus 0.5 that is 1.5 volt next question which of the following motors can be referred as universal motor answer is dc series motor practically it is ac series motor but we can uh, modify this dc series motor which can be act as ac series motor so thank you very much for watching this video